Hello guys, it's Thomas, and I am back with The Last Door, part 4 of episode 2. And let's open this door. Let's tear down this door. We haven't really torn down anything, but let's go through. Don't know what- I actually don't know legitimately because I haven't looked at anything. Oh, okay. Come in, my son. I'm just guessing this is Mr. M, as I'm going to call him. Come in, my son. Did you think you could hide these books from me? They are just classic literature books, Father. Socrates and Aristotle. Silence, instruments of falsehood you'll mean. Facilities, or falsities coming from the snake, AKA the devil. Um, now, son, get on your knees and raise your arms. Apologize to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Who? It's Len. Malum in seal. Evil in itself. And I. Don't tell me that's like a another crow or a raven. Stop. Strange eye shaped signal. Eye of the bird. Guessing that's what it means, and those are birds doing that to the window. More crucifixes. A set of crucifixes on the door. Let's go back in there. Lord, your eyes burn me. I don't deserve mercy nor forgiveness. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is death to whom you are handing me over? Has my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest. Ernest, it's been many years since I last heard that name. Since, oh, I see. Father, I'm here to be able to remember. You have to help me. I beg you. Please, entreat me, tease, I don't know how to pronounce that. Petitions, prayers, torment, exemption. Past times bring us just misfortune and pain. Father Ernest, I was one of your students. One of my old students, you say. It is only the Lord who teaches us. We must all follow his ordinances and disciplines. Get closer, son. Son, come pray next to me. Your paper on the ground. Make sure altar is coated in wax. Candles almost burnt out. Christ crucified. Dark cloth covering his head. What do I do? Let me read that again. Oh, well, okay. Glory to be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit as it is in the beginning and now shall ever be. Now, my son, tell the Lord which is his voice, the sharp sword, the wise quill, or the dedicated, the delicate petal. The wise quill. No, 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 you're enveloped by sin. And now, my son, tell the Lord which one which one is his holy path. The wise virtue, the endless blame, or the blessed penance. All three are going to be incorrect. Oh, I guess not. Yes, yes, that's it. Nostra cupola. Oh, that's Latin. I think, or, well, it's not English. And always was and will. And now to the Lord who you are. The faceless pilgrim, gate guard, or the lost seaman. Lost seaman, I think, is gonna be the answer. Yep. He has to purify his soul. Forgiveness is in the fire. That's interesting. What's in there? I know you are there. You didn't hear me. Get out of my room. Despite being blind, he he preserves preserves good hearing. I must be more careful when moving. Razor blades shaved, stained with blood. Oh, completely cr cr 
cover covered with crosses. Mentally ill act. What can I do next in this room? You're going to heaven. I hate myself and you. You're, oh, that's just a whole bunch of stuff. I know you're there. Didn't you hear me get out of my room? I just want to see if there's anything else we can do in that room. I just want to double check. Can we morphine him? No. Aw, oh, man. Okay, so I think that's all we can do, and I think one of these windows is going to break. Or not. Huh. Okay, so I don't know what we do now. I honestly don't. But I think this might be last episode or well not last episode last part of it or so do I this is gonna be terrible nope good good thing that doesn't work morphine nope let's try can't I don't know if I can talk to them let's walk down here and see if there's anything else that I missed Nope, still her clothing and her walking stick. Nothing has changed. So what am I missing then? I honestly don't know. Let me get closer to my microphone. Um, I don't honestly know. Hmm. Okay, so do we slit someone's throat? I'm such a bad person for thinking that. But I, I'm trying to do it like game can tell me to do. Morphine? Nope. Don't think we bash a skull in with a log. Let's go back over here. Upstairs. Oh, never mind. I can use a razor to cut the ta tapestry. Or tapestry, or however you say that. I don't English. Oh, okay cutting tool. That's really terrible. Why can't you just push it aside? And finally, our expert on philosophy, Jeremiah DeVitt, shows up. Where were you, my friend? We've been looking for you. Well, I was saying, tonight is the perfect moment for our next meeting, but I suspect that someone outside our group is secretly surveying us. Who is it, Anthony? My dear friends, it's Professor Glenn. Do you mean Father Ernest? Certainly, no doubt about it. Therefore, dear colleagues, I have decided to change the venue for tonight's meeting. Have you noticed the lounge behind the small door of the dining room? I have believed convenient to borrow the key for our necess necessities. You will, as you already know, at 12 o'clock you'll find that door opened. I'll be inside the lounge. That's it, my dearest colleagues. More Latin. Remember this is the furniture we used to keep some of our personal belongings in. Oh, it's gonna be ravens or crows or whatever type of bird that is. What's that? Remember this is a bed where I used to sleep. Crucifix. Walls are completely disarray. Probably punch through if I actually wanted. we want to punch through? I don't think we should. So I wasn't paying enough attention to that as I should have been. But where was like the meal hall place? I'm gonna be so sad if I have to go watch another walkthrough. Blessed is the fruit. She's praying. Okay, so where would the um, other stuff be? Where would like the dining hall be? Try that way. Go insane. 
Maybe. I don't know. Okay, guys, so apparently I was supposed to have slept in the bed that was here in this room in an upstairs attic. Didn't know about that. I'm sorry that I was interrupted last time. Didn't know about that either. Well, I wasn't expecting it at least, so let's read. Mr. Rabbit was jumping through the forest in a warm spring afternoon. Mr. Rabbit seems like a fun guy. When going through the bush, well, well uh, uh, when going through a bush, Mr. Rabbit ran into Mr. Wolf, Mr. Vulture, and Miss Snake, who were having a heated argument. That's ominous enough. Mr. Rabbit, curious, asked them, Dearest, why are you arguing in this beautiful and cheerful spring afternoon? Mr. Wolf answered politely, What we are trying to decide is who of us will have the pleasure of eating you up? But Mr. Rabbit, really scared, said, But I don't want to be eaten. I want to live. I think everyone wants to live. Is that blood? I hope not. To which Miss Snake answered, smiling, that's impossible to happen, Mr. Rabbit, since we are all, both you and us, going to die sooner or later. Don't you think so? Where do I go? Oh, up here. Miss Vulture added, Miss Snake is right. We should stick to the issue at hand. It's getting light, and as you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest as the one to eat you? That's a little morbid. Let's find out. After thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit said, or Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and carefully said, I got it. Why not organize a race? The first one who arrives at the Forest King will have the privilege to eat me. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run at high speed, but Miss Vulture can go flying and avoid any obstacle. I'm sure that Miss Snake knows all the shortcuts within the forest. I guess the competition is balanced. What do you think? Yeah, what's that in the windows? The three predator predators agreed that it was fair, so they started the race and quickly disappeared. Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speed in the opposite direction of the predators, eager to prove their worth. Didn't realize the trick. More red. Mr. Rabbit was far, far away from Len, from there, and he finally felt safe, happy and proud of his cunning. But suddenly there was a loud bang, a bang. The earth shook, and frightened birds flew everywhere, and everything went dark. The end. Um... Impossible love. There's something I kept for myself for a long time. And the things that I loved you, and I've always loved you. Since the first time I saw you, since the first time I felt your frozen hands, that's morbid. Each time I move away from you, I miss your glassy, empty, dead eyes. I miss your rough hair, your gray skin, your stench. But your love just can't be, or well, our love just can't be. It's an impossible love. The end. No, not again. How long have I been sleeping? What was that all about? In the nightmare, I found a place, a place in my memories. Dusty mirror. What changed? Remember, this furniture used to keep some of our personal belongings. Now it is empty. 
anything else? I don't think so. So what changed? I'm gonna go up here first. Doesn't look like anything changed. He's probably with some the person down in the coffin below. Lust fruit. Guy going on his little prayer rant thing. Still no one there. Let's go this way. Out back. Trying to make him come to his senses. Oh, 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 I feel so dumb. We probably need to follow where that was in the dream. I feel really dumb. So if I remember, we came down there. We went up here through this door and over to here. Disturbing nightmare, I was brought to the spot. Trap door, I saw in my nightmare. From here spouts a tor horrible stench. There's something down here. It's like the bonding of Isaac all over again. Did you see it? Did you see it? I was there, just in front of me. He was screaming. Rest in peace. The stretchers used to carry the corpses here. Who was behind all this? She came corpse a young young woman. Seems as if she was devoured by an animal. It's the rabbits. Punctual as always, Divit. Now all that remains is to introduce our guest. You may now come in, Professor. Father Ernest. Do not worry, my friend. I invited him to join us this evening. The Professor genuinely shares our curiosity, and who better to complete our group other than one of the most renowned theologists. Moreover, we mustn't ban, ban Lowe's, who are willing to explore beyond the veil. Reveal. The movement we have long awaited has now arrived. Please, all of you, take a seat and we shall begin the procedure. Soon shall the door be open, and then we may finally see what lies beyond. Now I ask you to close your eyes. You will feel a momentary prick as we inject you with serum. Even after all these years, I have not forgotten your voice. You are the fourth witness. I remember, I remember now what happened. What is it that we saw? The eye of a bird, Malum and C. What happened to us? What is it that we witnessed? You must tell me. You must make me understand what my mind cannot fathom. It was our curiosity that damned us. We opened which should not be opened. In doing so, we shortened the veil that separated our world from his. And seeking vision, we were ourselves being seen by the eye of the bird. The eye of the bird saw us. It remembered us. It looks for us. It calls f us from its darkness, from the abominable lair. All these years I've attempted to return to it, but I've no strength yet. These poor, wretched creatures are too fragile. They lack the sight to return. Not one of them has returned. Only us, the four witnesses. Who are the other two? Where are they? They disappeared as you did. I haven't heard from any of them, any of you, but I was seized by curiosity. It absconded with my faith and deprived me of sanity. O oh Lord, forgive me, I have sinned. Nothing remains. All that is left is surrender. Surrender to him. Gravely have we been have we sinned. Now and now our only absolution is to burn. Burn in the flames. Malorm and C.
Oh, we're gonna be bored. We're being boarded up in a coffin, aren't we? Oh, that sucks. I wouldn't want to be buried alive in a coffin. continues in chapter 3. Well, that's very interesting. So for now, I have to say this. Thank you for watching this. Leave a like or favorite and well, adios.